be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. And this one, we're gonna have something very, very big. We have a potential catalyst that could actually raise some of the values of the NFTs on VV. Now, obviously, we're in a bear market, so a lot of people aren't really talking about some of the catalysts that are going to be raising prices of some of these things in the future. Um, because I'm pretty sure, like during recessions and things like that, people were not thinking about buying comic books at that time either. So. I mean, it's just one of those things that happens when the world goes into recessions where people can't really see past the recession. They only focus on the situation that they're in as opposed to getting into a position where they could be farther ahead once they're out of that situation. So um, that's that's one of the things that we're going to be checking out. One of the biggest catalysts come into one of the characters on Vivi and potentially other characters. So in this one um, in particular, we're going to be focusing on Deadpool. Now, if you've been a part of my private group, you all know that I am set up very, very beautifully for this to happen right here. And it is pretty much a confirmation that is going to be coming soon. Now, I've known that Deadpool is one of the most popular characters in Marvel, or he's one of the most popular heroes, but I, I just didn't know what was going on with the, the latest series, like, like what's been happening. So I, I did a little bit of research and, and seeing what's going on right now. And it turns out some big plays are about to be made with Deadpool, which is going to boost his popularity and boost his relevance even more. And I, I suspect that more and more great things are going to be happening with Deadpool. So yeah, he's one, he's a fan favorite. He's definitely a fan favorite. So yeah, we're going to be checking that out. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications so you stay updated. And yeah, let's just jump straight into it, y'all. So um, they said Deadpool nearly appeared in Doctor Strange 2. Here's why it didn't happen. So um, obviously he he's he there's plans for him to join the MCU. Um, we don't have to read all of this. They're just gonna explain um a bunch of stuff that's not really important. I think what's most important right here is right here. <clears throat> Speaking with comic book um um Waldron confirmed initial plans to have Ryan Reynolds character make a cameo appearance. While the idea did feel tempting at first, Waldron admitted that Doctor Strange two wasn't the right place for it. He explained. Yeah, we talked about it. I think we talked about everything in this movie. So it would have it would have been crazy to not raise that, but it ultimately didn't feel like it just didn't feel like the right place. Um, but yeah, of course we talked about it. So they were talking about making him make a um an appearance in Doctor Strange, but they didn't feel like that was the best place for for him to 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 you you know make his appearance. And I guess like with with the magnitude of, of hero that he is because i feel like he's arguably on par with dr strange if not bigger like i feel like it, it, he has to make a big boom when he comes to the mcu i feel like it has to be a big deal when deadpool comes to the mcu um i feel like it definitely needs to be something you know spectacular that actually happens because yeah i mean i feel like he he has he has the potential to be be one of the next biggest stars like it, it, he's already a huge star but you know what i'm saying like like he he's gonna make a big a big bang. So yeah, that being said, let's jump over to um this one right here. So Deadpool three, Marvel Studios confirms major casting for MCU crossover. So they're confirming that he's coming to the MCU. Um, if you don't know what this means, like we're gonna jump into this article, but before we jump to this article, I had to look up what 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 world what universe six one six was and all this. You all know, like I, I'm not a huge huge Marvel head. I really got into it and started learning more when I jumped on VV. So I had to look it up. I, I looked it up like, um, yo, Earth 616. What is Earth 616? Then I figured out it was the universe that all the Marvel characters are set in. And that's when I looked over here to see, yo, what type of heroes and villains are in this? Like, like who is Deadpool going to now be surrounded by? What type of shows and movies is he going to be in? What With what people? And then um, I read this. Earth 616 major heroes, the ones that who get involved in most of the important events, are the Amazing Spider-Man, the Invincible Iron Man, Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme, Daredevil, the Man Without Fear, the Mighty Thor, um, the Incredible Hulk, the Fantastic Four, S.H.I.E.L.D. Director Nick Fury, and Captain America, um, the Avengers, the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Defenders, um, the Guardians of the Galaxy are the biggest team players, although the membership of the groups have often changed. The Avengers have included most of Earth 616 majors, heroes, and members at one time um, or another. The X-Men consist of various mutants such as Wolverine, Storm, Phoenix, let's see, Professor X, Silver Surfer, um, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, 
Um, and there's also some interesting news on some of these characters as well that's going to be interesting. So we could we could see have some speculation about some stuff that's going to come up on Vivi, but that's actually going to be in a different video. It's a completely unrelated article. I just see um, it's a lot of um common names that I'm seeing here, which is going to be massive as well. Um, but yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Lord. Gamora, Drax the Destroyer, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, um, The Thing, Kitty Pride, The Fantastic Four again, Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, The Thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so so here we here we have it. Oh, Runaways, Runaways. Like that's crazy. I actually started watching that show. I forgot where I was watching that. I don't watch it no more, but yeah. And then here go Moon Knight as well. Moon Knight is in here. That's crazy. And I didn't know I didn't know most of these characters until um they start making these shows about them. So that's what's dope. That's what's really sick. Oh, yeah, Dr. Doom was in here. So I guess this is some of the villains. This is some of the villains of this world. Dr. Doom being the first one that they pop up. Dr. Doom, Magneto, um, Apocalypse Goblin. Let's see, Kingpin of Crime, the leader. Bullseye. Ultron. Mandarin. Loki. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. I didn't know Ghost Rider was a part of, of this whole universe. Like, is this the same Ghost Rider that Nicolas Cage played? Like, I thought that, that was completely unrelated, Joe. Like, that just goes to show you. Like, Go Ghost Rider has never been one of my favorite films, though. So, it's not something that I looked into. I didn't know that he had anything to do at all with Marvel or um or this universe whatsoever. But, um yeah. So, that being said, as you can see... Like, this is the caliber of hero that, that Deadpool is about to be surrounded by, which means that if he starts to make appearances in Spider-Man movies and starts to make appearances in some of these other very, like, next to Thor and some of these other, like, you know, Loki, like, we could be seeing him some places. We could see we could see him a lot of places. Imagine him and Loki. Like, Loki, the TV series, imagine he, he just makes a pop-up in one of those episodes or something. Like, you know how huge that's going to be, him next to Loki with their personalities, their trolling type of personalities? It's like... Yeah, it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be a hilarious episode, and it's going to make a lot of noise. And the fact that he's now joining this universe, joining, joining, um, I guess forces with a lot of this, with this whole planet of heroes, they could do some amazing things now and fit this character in nicely if it's done right. Um, so yeah, this article says this article um is um Marvel Studio confirms major casting for MCU crossover. It's been three years since Disney officially acquired the Fox brand and the House of Mouse's first order of business was to bring the Merc with a mouth to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As it stands, very little is known about the third Deadpool film starring Ryan Reynolds other than the fact that it'll acknowledge the first two films as canon and re retain its tone, making it the first R-rated MCU project. So this is the first R-rated MCU project. So this character is doing so well that they're going to keep it as it is because they don't want to like obviously damage the brand like that this is this is it's, it's amazing it's a great it's a great look for this character um, a lot of fans are growing impatient over the lack of deadpool 3 updates and understandably so which is why marvel studios is finally dropping the goodies on social media on twitter the official handle for deadpool um film franchise finally offered some much needed update regarding wade wilson's anticipated crossover to earth 616 and a wacky one at that Turns out the film has already nailed down brand integrations with Ryan Reynolds, Aviation Gen, um, putting being put in the spotlight. More importantly, the Twitter page also confirmed the return of Rob Delaney's beloved character Peter, who was a member of the X Force in Deadpool 2. Check check the post um here. So yeah, Deadpool movies posted. Deadpool 3 update. We've nailed down brand integration, story, character, and script next. Um so yeah, this is basically um this is basically like just just big news I guess this is big news that he's coming to the MCU and I was excited about this I'm super excited about this because obviously I I was anticipating this like I was anticipating big things happening with Deadpool I would I was anticipating him you know making more being a lot more relevant I feel like it's it's kind of like similar a similar reason to why I invested in Dogecoin early. When I saw like the the state of the other crypto projects and stuff like that, and saw how serious everything was, and then I saw, okay, this is a joke. Everybody's taking this. Everybody's going to take this as a joke eventually. I knew based on the culture of what was happening in the world that that was my thought process. I knew based on the the what what was happening in the world that this could probably blow up because it's the first joke of its kind. So I, I got in early and, and invested in that, and it's kind of similar to what I see here. 
This is like he's he's an R-rated film. He, he's like he's just crazy. Like this guy is crazy out here. And he brings something like it's just different. Like if you saw a Deadpool movie, you know that the, the feeling of it is different than any other character. So the, I think that he's has the potential to be one of these blow up characters that really people really cling to a hell of a lot harder, especially depending on how they integrate him into um into the MCU with some of the other characters. Like if he if he has great interactions with some of these other characters, if he has that same on screen presence that demands you know, that demands popularity when he's standing alongside some of the most popular heroes in the world, like that's going to bring so much clout and, and fame to, to Deadpool. So yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that, that this, this actually um, happens and boosts the value of some of the things on VV. I just, I'm right, right now it's just speculation that I believe that it could. Obviously, if, if this passes the test of time, it's definitely going to increase the value of Deadpool related things. But I mean, we, we, we have to see how the films turn out. We have to see what it looks like, we have to see if they're actually able to deliver upon what the fans want, and the people have to be happy with what they deliver. Because there's always the possibility that they completely miss the miss the goal and completely just destroy it and take a L, like like completely just make Deadpool bad. <laughs> like, but I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't see that happening. I mean, Disney seems to do an amazing job for the most part. So yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know how you all feel about this. Do you feel like this is going to be major news and very, very impactful? Or do you think, ah, it, it might not do too much to them? Let me know your thoughts. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.